Hi, I'm Kylie. Yes, yes, my parents named me after the famous model Kylie Jenner, as I'm a brunette too. I've always had posters of her in my room, and I tried to look like her. But there was one problem. My breasts never wanted to grow at all. And I'm 18 already, but still as flat as I was in my childhood. In high school all the girls had curves already, and my parents didn't even allow me to put pads into my bra. Damn it! But now it all changes, as today I'm moving to another town to enter the college, and I definitely will look like I want there. I've bought a push-up bra already, so soon I'll become the girl I've always dreamed to be. The very first day the whole college noticed me, both girls and boys. Maybe my breast size is a bit much, huh? That's a joke, of course, it's exactly the size it should be. Boys surrounded me in my class, and all of them stared at my curves. Seems the school year will be pleasant. My classmates crowded me in the canteen, just as I'd shown there. Come on, let me eat in peace. Then a guy entered, and everyone noticed him immediately. Hey, aren't you mixing things up? It's me who has a big bust here, not him. But then I heard folks whispering the guy was Donald, the son of one of the richest persons of our state, and that he was very down to earth, he even didn't mind eating in the canteen. I'd immediately driven my neighbors at the table away and was left alone. Donald wouldn't have a chance to walk by me. He grabbed his tray, looked for empty seats and headed my way. I was about to say, it's not occupied here, sit down, but he passed me by. I'm sorry, what does this mean? Maybe he just hadn't noticed my intimate feature. Well, it's okay, there'll be a next time. And the next time came very soon. I was leaving the college when I saw Donald with some girl as flat as Texas. She was telling him something, but he interrupted her rudely and said to forget about him. So he doesn't like flat girls, and it's about time to get to know him better. Hi, Donald. It seems we've picked the same specialized course for this term. Have you seen the program already? What? He looked at my breasts and opened his mouth. You guys are so incredibly simple. But Donald replied it was a mistake, and he had another specialized course. I'd spent the entire evening puzzling over his reaction, and in the end, I came to the conclusion he was just confused seeing my big breasts. We kept on meeting during the week, and sometimes even shared a desk at the lectures, but Donald never tried to talk to me himself, and when I asked him something, he replied unwillingly and showed me clearly he didn't want to speak. Hell no! When all the guys in the college lost their minds about me and dream I'd just look their way, I won't let this nasty Donald to stay away. Time passes and he'll come to me on his knees. The next day I joined all the college clubs, the music, the theater and the touristic ones, and even agreed to be on the college radio. Now you'll not only see me during every college event, but you'll hear me too. In a month there was the first concert dedicated to the Columbus Day, and I had the main performance, I sang Let It Be, and lights were shining on me. Donald was sitting in the front row watching me. The hall exploded with applause, and I hoped that after the concert Donald would come to me. But alas, I was surrounded by everyone except him. What a fail! All right, that's not the end. The main role in the West Side Story musical would fuel my popularity even more. And indeed, not only all the folks from our college came to the premiere, but students from other places too. Wow, I was so, so nervous. But when I'd come to the stage, all my worries completely left my mind and I was shining in every possible sense. The viewers literally covered me in flowers and someone even asked for an autograph. But Donald left right after the end of the performance and didn't even look my way. What a stinker you are! There was one more way to get his attention. I decided to participate in a camping trip organized by our touristic club. We were about to spend two days away from the civilization, to sleep in tents and to have no smartphones with us. Sure enough, lots of guys joined the group, but Donald's name wasn't on the list. Damn it! And what do I need this trip for? The day we left, I was about to simulate a terrible indigestion and refused to go when Donald showed up. Oh, you're going with us? That's cool. I hoped to be talking only to him, but he kept the instructor's company all the time and literally avoided communicating with me. Hey, listen, maybe he's just, well, you know, maybe he likes boys. 
Then it would be clear why he was sticking to the instructor all the time. What a fool am I? But maybe I'm wrong. I have to check this somehow. I got an idea right away. I'm going for broke. Tomorrow I'll skip the swimming class with my group and go to Donald's one. Then I will see how he reacts. But there was one problem. My pets could have exposed me, so I had to make my bra more reliable somehow, so that everything looked natural. Just as I'd entered the pool, everyone started whistling and shouting me compliments. Cool down, boys. I took the lane where Donald stayed and was swimming near him for the next 45 minutes. Suddenly I felt someone was pulling my bra drawstring from behind. It was Thomas, the biggest hooligan in the college. He was ready to film me with a camera. In one second I knew what was about to happen and wanted to hold my bra in place. But it was too late. The pets were floating on the water already. Well, that could be anything. No one understood what happened. Those are boys. But the next day when I came to the college, well, every single one was laughing at me. Everyone except Donald. They understood my posh breasts were just two pieces of foam rubber. I cried and ran away. There's nothing left for me, only to leave the college, because now I was an outcast instead of the most popular girl. Everyone will troll me until the very prom. I'll block all of them right now and disappear. Kylie is flat again and doesn't exist anymore. I hadn't left my flat for a whole week and decided I had to move elsewhere. It was time to pack my stuff. I wasn't going to be everyone's laughing stock. The doorbell rang. Finally, my pizza arrived. I went out and froze. Donald, why are you here? I recalled he was the only one who didn't laugh. Maybe he liked me after all, and I was about to hear his confession. What do you mean you conspired with Thomas? What are you talking about? Donald said he understood my breasts were fake the very first day when he saw me in the canteen. One of the pets showed from under my clothes and exposed me. He said to gain popularity this way was mean and nasty. He added he didn't care what curves a girl had, he only cared if she was confident and didn't pretend to be what she wasn't. Donald, wait, but what do I do now? He stared at me and replied, go back to the college and start it all over, instead of running away with your tail between your legs. And what do you think? What should I do? Do you agree with Donald that I have to try again? Or should I better leave? Did you like the video? Subscribe and give us a like. Support the channel. Thanks. I was walking around Chinatown amongst train shops in confusion. Rats scurried under my feet every now and then. I stumbled over the remains of some garbage, but I couldn't find the right store. If I don't take a new dose of those pills, I'm dead. I was blacking out. It seemed that I couldn't do this anymore. It would seem that I would have a good life. I get along well with my parents, and I have normal grades at school. But there is one but. I have small breasts, and if it were even a little bigger, I would be the happiest person in the world. Every morning, as soon as I come home to school, my classmates mock me. Oh look, the flat-chested has come, is what I usually hear instead of reading. God, I'm so sick of this. Once I decided to somehow fix the situation, I bought a bra half a size bigger and decided to put some cotton wool in it, so that the sharp difference was not noticeable. And my breasts looked at least a little better. Everything was going well. But it was time for PE lesson. No matter how hard I tried to turn away, one of my classmates, who had already suspected something before, still noticed my deception. She literally grabbed my bra with cotton wool and started running around the school with it. I wanted to burn with shame. Because of the confusion, I didn't even know what to do. But that wasn't all. My classmates started throwing my bra to each other like a toy. Hey, wait! But they already threw it on the wires near the school stadium. Great, now my bra would be hanging right in front of the windows of the teacher's room. I was choking on tears from resentment. Well, that was definitely the last straw. I urgently needed the breast augmentation. Otherwise, I couldn't stand it anymore. Still sobbing, I ran home and started looking for information on breast augmentation. How much? <gasps> Our whole house was cheaper? Hysterical? I just didn't know what to do. Why were my breasts so small? 
but suddenly Google showed me one advertisement. New product. A drug that increases breasts in a matter of hours. The secret of the Chinese empresses. <gasps> to be honest, at any other time, I would have thought that this was some kind of nonsense. But then I was desperate. I looked up the address. It was just a few blocks away in Chinatown. I had nothing left to lose. Half an hour later, I was already standing at the counter of some strange store. The Chinese salesman was smiling strangely. It was kind of uncomfortable here. I timidly showed him an advertisement for that drug. I was ashamed to say it out loud, but he immediately understood me and mysteriously, almost in a whisper, sat flat-bosomed and immediately brought a small jar. But before giving it to me, the seller hesitated. Be careful, he said. If you drink more than one pill a day, the consequences can be unpredictable. Yeah, of course. I didn't really believe that they would help in any way. As soon as I got home, I drank this pill. An hour passed, nothing happened. The most ordinary Chinese garbage. I shouldn't have wasted the money. Before going to bed, I took a couple more pills just to see if they would have at least some result and went to bed. In the morning, the alarm clock rang. I reached out to turn it off. <gasps> but why couldn't I do this? I immediately ran to the mirror and was stunned. My breasts were bigger than those of Hollywood stars. I was in shock. It worked. I was already impatient to wipe my classmate's eye. The first lesson was PE again. I was late on purpose to come straight to the locker room. As soon as my classmate opened her mouth to say again that I had put something there again, I defiantly took off my t-shirt. <gasps> you should have seen their faces, their jaws dropped in surprise. This smarty pants did not say another word. All day, I walked around the school like a star. The boys even gave way to me. I did it! I returned home in a great mood. But suddenly I noticed that my breasts began to shrink a little. Hey, don't you dare! Apparently, it was time to take those pills again. This time, I even drank one more, so that the effect persisted and fell asleep sweetly. The next day at school, everyone looked at me as a goddess again. How did she manage to do this? The girls whispered behind my back. I felt great. Even more, I felt almost omnipotent. I got A's for tests, although I didn't even think over the questions. During one break, three guys invited me on a date at once. I was elated. With new breasts, everything was so easy. I was returning home in a wonderful mood, but suddenly, I saw a neighbor's child run out into the road, and there was a truck speeding there. Without thinking, I rushed to the road, grabbed the child, and barely managed to save him from a huge car. His mother sobbed and did not stop thanking me, but I was thinking about something else. Before, I would not have risked my life so thoughtlessly. It seemed to me that because of the new breasts, I began to feel confident not only in appearance, but also in other matters too. <laughs> now I was capable of a lot. I immediately decided to test my guess. I was walking through the streets of the city, and as soon as I saw that someone needed help, I immediately approached. To get a ball that got stuck in a tree? No problem. I definitely jumped on the branches and threw the kids their toy. To help an old lady with the bags? It's easy. I took everything in one fell swoop and in a minute they were in her apartment. I took everything in one fell swoop and in a minute they were in her apartment. I never had so much strength. I was just a superhero now. Sometimes it seemed to me that it was all just a beautiful dream. But no, it was real. I was so glad I bought those pills. But a couple of weeks passed and I already dated one nice guy and helped everyone who needed it without any problems. But then I noticed that the pills were running out. <gasps> Damn, I can't do it without them anymore. I immediately ran to Chinatown, but I couldn't find that store. What the hell is that? I wandered through the streets, but it was as if it had never been here. Suddenly, I noticed a Chinese man at the intersection who was standing behind the counter that evening. I quickly approached him, but before I could open my mouth, he interrupted me. I <gasps> warned you was all he said and quickly disappeared around the corner. I was speechless. 
Completely devastated, I stood in the middle of a dirty street and only felt my chest rapidly shrink. With the last of my strength, I crawled home. The next morning, I woke up again with my size zero. I was so sick that I just wanted the ground to swallow me so that everyone would forget about me and never remember me again. I didn't know what to do. This was the end. Google told that there was no such drug anywhere else. And everything was so good. Why was I being punished again? I didn't leave the house for a week. If at least someone saw me without breasts again, they would just laugh at me. I didn't have the strength anymore. I just didn't know how to move on. I decided to try one last time and went to Chinatown again. Maybe now I could find this door? I would give anything for this drug. I came to the right address, but there was nothing there again. I just sat down on the asphalt and burst into tears. Without my breasts, my life became unbearable again. I just wanted to disappear. But suddenly, someone touched me on the shoulder. I was startled with fright. I looked around warily. It was that seller again. What the hell? But he just smiled, and he told me something that I couldn't believe for a long time. It turned out that those pills really increased breasts. But they didn't give any superpowers. Everything started to work out for me simply because I finally felt confident. The new breasts just helped me to reveal what had always been in me. I was in shock. What about my classmates? My new boyfriend? They would definitely not accept me without breasts. And you pretend that nothing has changed? And you will see. The Chinese smiled. The next day, when I came to school, everyone of course stared at my breasts, or rather, at their absence. <laughs> that arrogant classmate of mine already wanted to say something about this. But I interrupted her and calmly said, Hello everyone, what's up? I tried desperately to think that everything was fine. My superpowers did not leave me. There was a heavy silence for a couple of seconds. But then my classmates began to cheerfully discuss what had been happening to me lately. One of them said that they were already beginning to worry. They laughed and hugged me, and some apologized for the previous taunts. I couldn't believe what was happening. So the Chinese was right? All my problems were not because of my small breasts, but because of my own complexion. Accompanied by my new friends, I went to class and I thought only about one thing. All the superpowers are already in us. We just don't need to suppress them in ourselves. Did you like the story? Subscribe and like it. Support the channel. Thank you.